Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend 23 here, and welcome back to a new episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today we're gonna keep on going where we stopped last episode, and it was just in the beginning of the Lost for Lost Woods here. I'm not sure if if I will manage to find myself in here, but but let's go. No time to chill. Uh, am I not able to be here? <laughs> Is it too early in the story? Because here I can go out now. If I go here, I will start for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So I wonder if I'm... I'm shy of some item that makes me being able to wander here. Maybe it has something to do with the silent rooms. Probably not, but... Will allow me to move stealthy. I don't think I need stealth here, but... Maybe I'm not able to do this yet, and I just have to give up for now. And this does nothing. Oh my god. And you're just running as quickly as you can. Does nothing. Well, then I have to apologize for the cliffhanger last episode. If we're not able to continue here, then we're gonna backtrack. But I hope you all agree with me that it was a great cliffhanger for the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for that. Okay, so the Lost Wood is a bit early now. That sucks. I really wanted to do that at the moment. Let's go and fight this place then. Like, like the whole wood is just covered in in dust or smoke. Oh my god. Okay, to make it a bit easy for us here, all we need is aimbot. Boom. 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 You also. Who are you gonna call? Oh my god. A bit higher. That's perfect. I thought all of you were dead. But I guess not. Don't need to aim but you. <laughs> oh, you're alone now. Just calling on your friends. I was just gonna say, but the chests are impossible to find. But I think they are close to this thing. Which makes us maybe able to could take it up. Yeah. Opal. And there's the other chest. I'm not gonna go and <laughs> grab every gear, uh, every loot from from the sludge. <laughs> Am I like stuck on this place now? I think I might be. Are you ready with the gust? No, okay, 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 okay. I was like, I'm never gonna get out of this place otherwise. And 
too high up. Like, was this everything, huh? Like, we have a chest over here. Last close. Too far away. This should be close enough. for arrows, I guess. <laughs> Is this really everything <laughs> of value here? Feels a bit scuffed. Is that something we have found earlier? It's not, huh? And we have a pin on it. And maybe it's something we should do. There must be like some kind of Karoko or something in this place. It's this huge place dedicated to those few enemies. And this dude also, of course. Oh, a golden chest. Don't mind if I do. Guess I take it. There is a such a Kuroko seed place. Especially because you have no way to like go now. <laughs> or you can go to these stones, I guess. And from here. Okay, nice. Now I have lost where that thing was. Ah, it's over there. Let's see what these two want. Maybe they have a quest for me. Yeah. Uh... I almost figured it out. Just a bit more brainstorming and... Hmm. Ah. Duck, I'm not sure how to tell you this, but... The treasure is gone. What? Prison, you were supposed to be keep watching. Ha! I was keeping watch. That guy took it. I was watching him the whole time. Dude, what Aww. the hell is this? You gotta tell me these things. Keeping watch means you have to do more than just watch. <sighs> ah well, can't get them all. No use crying about it. You know, you're pretty good. Almost as good as... Uh, almost as good as us at hunting treasures. Ah. Huh? You're a treasure hunter too? Are you also going after Miko's treasure? Uh? I am. Prison! Hush. Oh sorry, just ignore him. Miko's treasure? So much for the just ignore him gambit. <laughs> There's no way you're also a, a treasure hunter if you don't know about Miko's treasures. But we can tell you a little. Miko was one of the greatest bandits Hyrule level saw, and not just a bandit. They were also a fashionista. Rumor has it Misko's renowned clothing collection is hidden somewhere in Hyrule. Oh. We think the clothes are hidden in the caves that appear during the upheaval. Uh, like up ahead in the Elden region, you, you couldn't really explore back when Death Mountain was erupting. But now everything's cooled down and the place is all rocky and rugged. There are probably tons of secret caves perfect for hiding treasures. <laughs> Prison, what are you doing? Ha. Huh. Ah. Mm, oops, uh, definitely forgot he said anything. <laughs> okay, so we have some... Uh, by searching caves, uh, famous for both Bandit Fashion and Misko. But that's... 
That side quest started and got completed the same second. Okay. Fine. Do we really don't have any parts? We have one of these. That should make us be able to purchase one of them. Yeah, nice. But I ain't going all that way if I don't have to. I really like that I'm these last couple of episodes I've just been everywhere on the map. I've been up to the southeast, uh, northeast, and then down here, and then back here again. Okay. I guess we're just gonna... No, that's stupid. We're gonna reverse it. Yeah, we're gonna reverse it. That's what they want. So is the thinking here that I should bring fire with me? Ah. I don't even need those now when I'm thinking about it. My god, maybe I do. No. But the thing is, can, can't I just throw a... Uh... I even have a torch. But can I just use these ones? <laughs> like here? <laughs> yeah. It's a bit cheaty, but why not? All... Somewhere I need to open two of these. Okay, I understand. So I guess here you should beam it in there to open the back door. Then give it like five seconds. One, two, three, four. That's five. Then we wanna put that one here. Boom. Then we need time also, so... That should be enough. Hopefully. It was not. Can I, like, hit it from here? I can. Nice. No chest, huh? I don't think we have missed it. I don't think... I don't think it exists, rather. Yeah. 
And to have some type of plan for this episode, I was thinking, let's go to the northeastern part again, to that uh, city, the Goron city. So let's start in Eldin, not Goron city, the Eldin city. Yeah, it's called Goron city, but the mountain is called Eldin, or the region, rather. Uh, because uh, uh, we have a lot of things to do here. So why not... Because this shrine up here is on the, like the top of the mountain, so it's a good spot for us to, to then fly down. We had this side adventure, I think it is. Uh, 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 not side quest. Maybe it was a side quest. It might have been, actually. Here, the hidden treasure at Lizard Lake. Not gonna go in there. Which means we are going to these two. Because if you read the quest here, uh, we have like a nursery rhyme. One brother hunts what the other brother hides. Two lizards fighting over what's inside. So one hunts what the other hides. So maybe one of them have something on them. I think we're gonna get smarter after the fact that we see see them more than only on the map so here is one the one in the cave uh, or in the mountain and then we had one over there as well so one brother hunts what the other brother hides two lizards fighting over what's inside i would imagine the one here is the one hiding of them too but that can be wrong I'm gonna go to the shrine first of all, just to get that unlocked. And also let's just snipe this shrine while we see it. Alignment. Oh, this is just ascending up, huh? And then you're gonna... Okay, I understand. So let's just try ascending first here. Let's see if that makes us any smarter. I guess you can't climb this. No, no, no. That is gonna crush me if I rewind it. So it's like one of the platforms lower. So on this side we have two on... Oh, I understand, I understand, I understand. We're gonna ascend all the way up. So we're gonna do that. I think it might be a chest on this side, yeah. Then we can actually ascend again here. Nothing we really want. Maybe that's not enough, huh? No. Okay. That means that this... Oh, now they have stopped lining up again. Maybe it was... Another side we have... 
These two are lined up, okay. Do we reach the top part? We do. And then... Cancel. That's good enough. Wrong button. And all the way up. That's a fun little shrine, actually. Not that uh, difficult, though. See a car over there. Why not finish it and use it down here? That's good enough. Maybe it will fall now, though. <laughs> yep. That's good. That's not at all how I wanted it to be. There we go. The car is done. Just wanted to see how good it was at going over uh, obstacles. Okay, so one of these have so hunts what the other is hiding that gives me nothing to go on and they're both hiding on the inside or something like that Sure, if I'm gonna get any smarter of just looking like this <laughs> on on the things. There's that cave looks a bit sus. Yeah, we should be able to make that explode at least. Let's bring out our good friend. And also snap a picture on this quickly here. <laughs> Don't I need the warmth uh, food here? Maybe not. Or the flame resistant. <laughs> This must be uh, some gear in that chest. Feels like it. <laughs> because that is like the only thing in this cave is this <laughs> this chest. Give me something good. Flame guard helmet. That's nice. That's what we needed. Ah, that was the the lizard quest. Damn, didn't think didn't think that would be beat, huh? Mm, I think it's easier to just bomb this by myself. I guess here is that dude. Ooh, maybe we should do that today. Go and continue the quest with the ugly dudes that want this. Oh my god. That's 
That's aimbot needed after that performance. Damn. So these quest lines. So where is that dude? That's a side adventure, it must be. And Is it a search for Coltin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. And he is over there. Let's go there then. I guess it's easier to get there from from the lookout tower. And then just quickly sail over there. That should be to the northeast, that's correct. Just wanna change clothes here. And also, is it far? But that also is something we should just put out. Let's keep it as one of those. A lot of... Shrines that I see from here. I just have to do this for my own sake. Was it only two I saw? I thought I saw more. <laughs> Maybe I didn't. Uh, there is one also. That's a dragon, right? Damn. That looks dangerous. Yeah, that dragon we're not gonna fight today. But I'm really gonna... I'm not sure what to do. Point of interest, I guess. Shrine nearby, also. Oh! <laughs> yeah, my energy was off, and I accidentally used my last. Um... Is that a shrine? That looks like a shrine. Let me just do like this. We will backtrack, I promise. The old one then. Hudson con oh the Hudson construction site, huh? We have stumbled upon. Let's see what they want. Do 
You need help with this? There you go. You can you can talk to me now. Don't have to be scared. Oh, what is this? <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked on my side tracking. Oh, there you are. Huh? I never hit that dude. Okay, so here is some Sonai devices that I cannot reach at the moment. There is something I should blow up, it looks. I know I can just ascend it here, but I think I'm... Um... Can I talk to you now? From what I've been hearing, Goron City is back in business, which means I better hurry up and finish work out here so I can get back to Yonobo Corporate. You're a traveler? Careful now, the ground is uneven. What with all the debris and every everywhere. I wouldn't wander around too much if I was you. Yeah, but you're not me, so let me wander here. I will go and talk to dudes here, but first let's jump down here, because I think I think this will be the entrance to to the thing we saw. get some small wheels steering stick rocket fan small wheel how can I get in here looks like from some other type of cave Let's go and talk to these dudes. If there is any, that will say. I see one over here. That's up to standard. Ah. Looks like you're hard at work. Ah. Oh, who are you? This is a Hudson construction site. We're doing critical work that, can, that can't be done anywhere else. It's no place for civilians. Ah. Not to mention the falling ruins. Those uh, are incredibly dangerous. You really shouldn't be here. Hudson Construction. Hudson Construction is the number one construction company. I guess it's the only also. And they don't only do buildings like the ones at Lookout Landing. They also build machinery like the Skyview Tower. Amazing. And just wait until you hear about their latest invention. This balloon. Can't you can you believe it was made using Sonai devices? Yeah, I can actually believe that. Pura has taken a keen interest in all the Sonai devices found here. So she asked Hudson to make this balloon for the Sonai survey team to use. Thanks to this thing, the scope of our research has broadened considerable, considerably. Um, anyways, as I was saying, we do critical work here. No civilians allowed. Critical work? More Sonai artifacts fall here than anywhere else. It's completely unrivaled. Ooh, there we have to go. Look, see that? Only three have been found on the surface. To someone on the Sonai survey team, a site like this is a dream come true. <laughs> Imagine rare research materials just falling into your lap. Incredible. Um, I got a little carried away. Anyway, people are working here, so please give them this some space. Ooh. If you're headed to Terray Town, that rail car to the east is the quickest route. 
Is it this rail thingy? That looks so nice. It looks like a freaking... Uh, uh, <laughs> what is it called? Uh, how can I have forgotten that name? Uh, like a roller coaster. Oh. Uh, ah, are you interested in this too? I am. Oh. Look at this. It seems like there might be things inside it. I wonder if we can get them out. This thing fell from the sky at the time of the upheaval. Uh. But what it is, and where did it fall from? I will show you something here then. If you don't know what this is, you the only thing you need to do is take five of these, put them here, and then you will see something cool happen. Ah, <laughs> oh, steering wheels, nice. So now we have one that is not <laughs> made of... Because I found one down in the depths, but it was really warm there. Now we also have flame resistance, so it doesn't matter, but before we didn't. That what those things are? There are sonar devices inside this thing. Sure is. I think yes. I actually think this might be possibly be a truly amazing discovery, probably. <laughs> and contraptions like this one have shown up in places other than just Terry Town. Kagariko Village in Ikluda, south of here, has one. There we have been, and the, sorry, there, <coughs> and there's one in the southwest too, at the Dig Dog Bridge near the entrance to the Gerudo region. Uh. Could it be that the types of sonar devices inside each area contra contraptions are different? Uh. Questions require answers. We got to investigate the other contraptions. But before that, I feel you, the need to ceremonially award you for your big discovery. Oh, thank uh. you. I found it while investigating. It's rare. Yeah, yeah I know what it does. Ah. Bye bye. So he was off to Kakariko village, I think. Oh, it's fans and steering wheels here. So let me just... And also, what happens if I drop five of these? Then I should get a lot of things. Then I maybe empty out the... Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it just keeps going. Okay, what happens if I do that once again? <laughs> like, will things drop out now? Or what's that stupid of me? Oh my god, that's... So much loot. It just keeps going. Well, now we should have a lot of everything. Yeah. So now we don't need to think about Sonai to build our car for a while. Use it whenever. <laughs> Sun and down. Hey, it's rare to have visitors at the workshop. Were you looking for the entrance to Terrytown? If you're going there, the rail car right in front of you should come in handy. Mm. Yes, yes, oh. yes. Okay. Do I need the battery with me? Doesn't hurt, I guess. We put it on. Boom. And boom. So I guess if you take those two wheels and, uh... Oh, here you are also. I have to turn you off. Um, if you take these two wheels and put a steering wheel in between, maybe you will make a real uh, motorbike then. Instead of the flying one. Yeah, and this roller coaster was not that fun. It's really slow. Come on, dude. You can manage. Mm -hmm. 
Whoa there, want to use a rail car? Ah. There's a fee for that. You're free to use it once you pay up. I'm already on it, dude. All's well. Sigh. I thought it might be valuable when I picked up picked it up, but this weird rock is giving me the creeps. Yeah, that rock spawns a shrine, dude. I gotta hurry and find some sucker to hmm. Heading to the construction site, eh? There's a small fee to use the rail car. I collect that for you. It's 20 rupees, no exceptions. If I say goodbye. So I have just cheated my way up here for free. That's funny. This rock belongs to me. I'm not going to give it away for free. But if you really want it, I would consider selling it to you. Yeah, I can buy it from you. What's the rock? Oh, are you interested in this rock? I found it buried at the construction site. It's a rare rock, so I stole... I mean, I took it as a memento. <laughs> but if you're interested, I would consider selling it for you. A special introductory offer of 100 rupees. Not for that price. In that case, how about 80? Hmm, can you go lower? <gasps> hey, what are you doing? Should have bought it, huh? For 80. Mm. Are you trying to sell random junk for outrageous prices again? Look at that thing. It's basically just a really big piece of flint. I call 60. No, 50 rupees is more than a fair price. But I already set an absolutely fair price. And he might have... Okay, no need for the stern wife look. What do you say? It's a real deal at just 50 rupees. What happened if I pass? Oh. Of course he isn't going to buy after you insulting him with such a high price. Hudson made this town so that everyone could live here in peace. If you do anything to harm that beautiful vision, you won't get away with it. You're right, you're right, I'm sorry. Can I buy it even cheaper now? I'll buy the rock. Okay, I have to pay 50. He actually gonna buy the weird rock I found? It's my lucky day. That's great. You have a good eye, sir. This is definitely a very valuable rock, so you made a wise purchase. And now, this rock belongs to you. No refunds. I'll place it in the back for whenever you're ready to take it to its new home. Okay. I will try to find where it should be. <laughs> So I'm wondering where that thing should go. All is well. I feel like it's probably a Kuroko seed when I... Oh, here's a praying station also. If I hit this... Maybe it was no Kurok on that dude. What happens if we blow it up? Hey, what's a Kuroko? Bye bye. And do we have enough for an upgrade? I don't think we do. I don't think we do. Now we need two more. Anything else of value here? We have a shop. 40 each, that's expensive. But I'll gladly buy some arrows from you. Am I right that this is your first time in our shop? Good choice. But in case you missed it, we also carry monster extracts now. That's nice. That's right. I'm proud to be the only merchant to sell monster extracts. My main business used to be useful. Things you can attach to arrows for a little extra oomph. 
But a contact of mine helped me source monster extract and now I have a sideline in that too. If you're interesting, interested, I can hook you up. Sun and down. Yeah, I will probably buy that for, from you. So give me those first. The result of Kilton's research into monsters. The, these suspicious spies can be used to punch up dishes while cooking. Apparently it can be used to make a number of monstrous meals. Ooh, isn't this needed for the teach me a lesson thing? Goron spice, highland rice and monster extract. Yeah, yeah, so we're gonna buy this. Let's buy them all. And then we need Goron spice. What that, whatever that is. Break it down, sun and done. Sir, have you ever regretted attaching something to your weapon or shield? That's the time to tap me, Pelson, here at Break Apart Shop. Faster than you can blink, Sipsa, it will be back to how it was before. It just costs 20 rupees. Okay. So that you can break down parts without, uh, I guess, breaking the parts. Because if I, so if I take like this one and destroy fused material, then I will drop the thing that is fused on it, which is not optimal always. I wonder if I'm a bit early here, because I can't really find quests. Here is the boss. That's some ugly hair though. <laughs> Just yesterday, she was talking about it happily. Perhaps you're overthinking it. Though, I do understand. I know you're worried about Matt Mattison moving. Mon Monerai told me that Mattison has been acting real cheerful lately. I can't help but wonder if she's, you know, just putting on a bold face. After all, she's going to be picked up soon. <sighs> Please, if you keep acting like this, it will only make, make it more difficult for Mattison to leave. This is a once in a lifetime journey for, for a Gerudo. We should support her and give her a grand send off. Mm. You're right, of course. It's a special journey and we should do something big for her. Huh? huh? A customer? Welcome to Hudson Construction. Let me guess, you're in the market for your dream home, right? That's no surprise. Our unique modular building style lets you put rooms together to create the perfect home. But I'm sorry, we're still not ready to open for business. Wait, it's you. Ooh. Look who it is. It sure has been a while. You know, thanks to you, Terrytown is doing really good. Nowadays, it's the kind of village that welcomes folk from all over to come live in peace. Oh, and we have a daughter. Looks just like her papa. She's wonderful. My little Mattison. Mm. Hudson, you gotta get it together. Oh. Sorry, I gotta go. We're kinda busy right oh. now. I'm going back to work now. Ronson, but don't worry. I'll try to think of something nice to do for Madison. Madison's independence, a side adventure. Uh, Hudson looked sad. He appears to be worried about something, so I guess we're gonna talk to him again. Ooh. We were deep in conversation. We hardly made time for you earlier. Sorry about that. You know, here at Hudson Construction, we like to say, It's sun and done. And here I am, president of the company. I'm supposed to be strong and decisive. Oh. But when it comes to my own child, I feel so un unsure about things. Oh. Child? I mentioned her earlier. We have a daughter named Mattison. She's wonderful. All the best parts of me and my wife, Ron Ronson. And Hudson. <laughs> but Mattison is, well, soon she's going to leave to and move to my wife's birthplace, Gerudo Town. Oh. The Gerudo have a law that says they can't associate with men until they come of age, you see. I mean, it's fine while they're young, but when they start to become more aware of the world around them, someone comes from Gerudo town to pick them up. I've been told that for a Gerudo, spending time in Gerudo town is an honor. And Mattison does seem to be looking forward to it. Anyway, I want to give her a big send-off, but... I... I didn't realize this would be so hard for me. Ah, sorry. You had to... Ah, sorry you had to listen to me go on and on like that. I really should get back to the job site soon. I want to spend more time with my little girl before she has to leave. But I have so much work to do. My wife has her hands full too. Uh, what with preparing Mattison for the move, she's so busy she can't even take work requests. 
Mostly, I just wish someone could spend time with Mattison so she wouldn't feel so lonely. Is that my work to do? <laughs> Updated. Uh, play with Mattison. So where is Mattison? Are you Mattison? Honey, what do you want? I'm supposed to play with Mattison, so don't bother, bother me, okay? But she hasn't come down from her room on the second floor. Maybe she's busy studying Gerudo. It's so confusing how many Vu and Va sounds there are in all those Gerudo words. Okay, so she's in the second floor. Or is it this dude? This is Kilton. Oh, it's the quest we're doing. Correct. Uh, I guess... The side adventure is here. Wasn't it a side adventure? Matt's on independence. Okay, but let's uh, talk to Colton while he's here. <laughs> Why, hello there, you! It's an honor to see uh, your face with, with my eyeball... Eyeballs? <laughs> I was like, does he only have one eye? No, eyeballs, once again. And on such a pretty, pretty day, no less. My little brother Colton is fa faring well, thanks to you. Look over there. Hmm... He isn't there now, but when the sun goes down, you'll find his charming multicolored stall upon that hill. He's working so very hard to make his dream come true. You should speak with him if you see him. Ah, where are my manners? I have yet to greet, greet you properly. Kilton at your service. Once upon a time, I made goods from monster parts, you see, and traveled about selling them from my shop. But once I had saved up a tidy little nest omelet, I gave that stall to my young brother. Now I've purchased this plot of la dirt land so that I so that I can at least make a r make real a dream I've dreamed since I was a wee little Kilton. Sadly, it seems the president of Hudson Construction is very busy and I can't take my next step forward without him. Still, it's only a matter of time before my dream is not a thing stuck inside my skull, but a thing here in the real world instead. E, I'm a quiver with excitement at the thought of it. What's your dream? I guess it's building a home of some sort. The truth is, and this is just between you and me, I have adored monsters ever since I was a wee Kilton. Oh, uh, how strange. This is usually the part where you say, what? Monsters? Disgusting. But here you are, so sensitive to my sensitives. I know, I know. Monsters are violent creatures and despised the world over because of it. That I cannot deny. But they are also misunderstood. The way everyone hates them without even trying to understand them. Pitiful. Tragic. And so I will educate the world about monsters. And once the world understands monsters, they will love monsters. That is my dream. But for my plan to succeed, I require the assistance of the finest carpenter in all land, Hudson. <laughs> he who? As soon as Hudson is done with his outer bis other business, you must come back. I promise you a monstrous spectacle, the likes of which no one has seen before. Okay. So Colton has taken his stall and set out on a journey, yeah, 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 yeah. Northwest of Territine at night. So his brother's gonna be there at night, which is good because we also have to unlock the, um, the map part. But we can keep this quest for now. And it makes sense that they live above where they have their thing here. So I guess uh, the chick should be up here. There she is. Mm, let's see. Good morning is Savota, good day is Savak, and goodbye is... What is goodbye? Huh. Don't frighten me like that. For a second, I thought you were here to take me away from my big journey. I'm doing all of this study because I'm moving to Mama's hometown soon. Where she's from, there's this amazing language called Gerudo. I want to teach every son in this village to speak it too. So I made it my mission, <laughs> mission, 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 
to memorize as many words as I can. Hey, would you like to learn some words too, mister? If so, your timing couldn't be better. I'm about to go give a lesson to Granny Monarai. You should come too. After some instructions from me, you'll be speaking Gerudo in no time. <laughs> For this lesson, uh, I'm going to be giving a Gerudo quiz. You should try it. Yeah, it's lesson less sons time. Let's follow her. You're not you're not quick with running though. It's this grandma and grandpa. Huh? Granny Monarai, Sav Saba. Oh my, you're in a good mood today, Mattison. Is it time for another lesson? Oh. Yeah, of course, and it's a special occasion too, because a new student is joining the class. Oh. Okay now, pay attention, Granny Monarai. It's time for Mattison's Gerudo quiz. What is Gerudo's word for granny? Granny in Gerudo is... Mm, hmm, what was it? Should I know that? Uh, maybe Vava? <laughs> nope, too bad. And Granny Monerai is out of time too. Do you two want to give it another try? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Granny. Maybe it's Vada? <laughs> no. Yes. Then I guess it's Vava? Ding, 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 that's right. Ah, ah, yes, Vaba. It was on the tip of my tongue. Well, now there's one more Gerudo speaker around there. Thanks to Mattison, I've grown rather knowledgeable about the language myself, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is how they talk in Mama's hometown. So if every son can talk like that here, well, then Mama won't be some lonesome, right? I feel better knowing Mama will be okay. But now I need to think of a way to help Papa. Hmm. I got it. Papa is always so busy, so I'll just make it my mission to help him with his work. Okay, I'm gonna go ride a rail car to the job site where he, where he does all the, his work. That mean I should follow, I guess. Okay, Matson, she she had to grow up. Oh, Matson, did she have to grow up so quickly? At her age, she should be clinging to her mama and papa's legs, not working up a sweat trying to make sure they are happy. Then again, maybe she won't have to. Ever since Haggy was put in charge of the rail car, it's become a whole lot harder to catch a ride. Has to be a way. I want to ride the rail car so I can get to Papa's construction site and help him get his work done. But I forgot that guy won't give me permissions to ride unless I pay him. Let me pay him then. I never had to pay until he took over. Guess I'm gonna have to hop aboard the railcar without him noticing. But how am I gonna do that all by myself? What I need is for someone to maybe cover his eyes or something? The hell? Should I really just cover... Cover him up? <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's do it with this. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. That's not good. Whoa, hey now, what do you think you're doing? You know I can see you. Bringing that over here like that, you're inferring my business. If it's a trip on the rail car you're after, I'll tell you what I tell everyone else. No rupees, no ride. I'm sorry, dude. It was not on purpose, you know? Is 
So did she go back here now? No. Where did she go? There she is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me do the thing here. That there. Don't fall. Damn it. Well, looking at the time, we have actually run out for this episode. So we will have to finish these quests in the next episode. If you have enjoyed watching this, please leave a like. It always helps a lot. And also subscribe for so you don't miss out on the future episodes. This has been 23. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.